Hi everyone, my name is Chris Morosco. Today we're going to talk about cloud governance and compliance. Cloud governance and compliance is a uh, top of mind challenge for a lot of customers today, especially since the uh, recent GDPR um, that came out and the requirements around GDPR and some of the fines that we're starting to see. It's becoming more and more critical and it's really a critical function for businesses to be able to conduct business in the cloud. And, and so this is uh, not necessarily a new requirement, but the cloud makes it a bit more challenging because data is now spread across different environments. It's in SaaS applications, it's in the public cloud. Um, it, so it's being spread out amongst the cloud environments and it's being accessed from a variety of different locations and a variety of different types of users. And so we have a few different challenges when it comes to this, um, to doing governance and compliance within the public cloud. One of them is being able to understand what's actually in these environments, being able to look at the, the assets in this environment. And, and the assets could be, on this side, they could be um, data, maybe they're documents, um, things like that, that exist in these SaaS applications. On, uh, on the public cloud side, they could also be data, they could be you know, sitting in um, storage buckets or environments like that. But all too often, they're actually uh, like VM instances or applications that are running in these environments instead. So, so the first step is to really understand what's in these environments um, and then understand them with context because having something that's not sensitive that's being exposed may not matter. But having something that is sensitive that's being exposed is an issue. Uh, but again, having something that's sensitive and not exposed is a good thing. So having context um, to be able to understand what's in these environments, to be able to classify it and identify it is, is a critical piece. And, uh, and so that, that's the first step. The second step is the actual people accessing these applications. And there's a variety of different types of people accessing these. Um, they can be users, um, but they also can be developers and admins and people that have actual root access to these applications and environments. And so when they are making access to these applications, um, it's critical that one, you know who they are. The identity is paramount. So, um, being able to understand who they are and trust who they are. So being able to understand, um, have they gone through MFA? Um, is there a potential for credential theft? Because this is something that um, they're using for passwords, which is weak. Um, is the connection encrypted? So just making sure that you know who this is and that they're accessing this very securely so nobody's getting in the middle of that uh, connection or impersonating them. Um, the, the third piece really comes to both of these together, and that's the configuration of these environments, understanding how they've been configured um, and whether they've been configured properly. So the SaaS environment, um, how's the SaaS been configured? How are people accessing it? Um, how is this data being exposed? Um, how are the admins able to get into it? What credentials are they using to get into it? And then in the public cloud, it's even more critical because the developers and the people that are actually managing these applications have access to this environment. Um, if they've misconfigured that public cloud, they've, they've set permissions incorrectly, they're not requiring multi-factor authentication, um, the passwords are using weak passwords, maybe they haven't um, set up the policies to protect these applications and segment this environment to be able to protect it so that um, someone could come in because there's a default policy set or something incorrectly configured um, is a critical piece. And so, so these are all where you need to be able to look to be able to solve the compliance challenge. So what are we at Palo Alto Networks doing to solve this for customers? And, uh, and really what we're doing is we're announcing a new product called Prisma. And what Prisma does is Prisma looks at all this, these environments, um, both the access um, as well as within the cloud environments to be able to understand um, what's happening in one view. So we have full visibility of all the different applications, the assets, um, the data, the virtual instances in these environments. We have an understanding of what the configuration of these environments are. We have an understanding of how the users are accessing them, what the policies are defined for that, uh, and be able to give one unified visibility um, of that data. So we can see that in a very actionable way so that then you can define governance and you can define your governance policies to control how these things are actually accessed by these different users and how they can be exposed. And then from that, you can remediate automatically when there's violations. So being able to have that visibility, define that governance to be able to control that access and control the, the applications and data. And then now, as violations occur, 
as users make mistakes, as things change in the cloud, they're automatically remediated and fixed so that you can maintain your compliance. So you don't have to worry about losing your GDPR, losing your PCI, losing these compliance standards that really define your business. So that's a quick look at what we're doing for data governance and compliance with Prisma. Uh, for more, go to the website and uh, you can learn in more detail how we do this. Thanks. Thank you.